Well, you're you're just never going to think of your celebrities the same way. That's for sure. You're never, ever going to think of these people the same way after seeing this video. Thanks to the good people at Vote who have been uh, digging in and doing so much of the bulk of the investigation into the Pizzagate. Uh, cannibalism has been a huge theme within movies, especially within television shows, all the zombie shows, of course. It's all cannibalism, right? And um, it's one of these things that we know goes on. And we know that this is a big part of the whole Pizzagate uh, scandal. So what I'm going to show you here is is going to be it's going to be pretty damning for the celebrities that have taken part. I mean, I'm going to have a hard time explaining it, but of course, people worship these people. Now, just to understand who Marina Abramovich is, I'll just put the wiki uh, thing here. You see her with the cross here, the Knights of Malta cross right there meaning that she is very, very high up within this New World Order. Now, she's a Serbian, uh, Yugoslavian-born, controversial per performance artist based in New York. Her work explores the relationship between performer and audience, the limits of the body, and the possibilities of the mind. Active for over three decades, uh, Abramovich describes herself as the grandmother of performance art. She pioneered the notion of identity by bringing in the participation of observers focusing on confronting pain, blood, and physical limits of the body. She is best known for spirit cooking. Cult rituals with the members of the Demon Rat Party. Um, now, she's 70, right? 70? How many 70-year-olds look like that and that's the thing about uh, Marina it's, uh, I don't know maybe drinking blood of babies I'm not saying that she does but uh, apparently the Royals like to do that it keeps them going for a very long time so Marina Abramovich of course has been completely exposed with her spirit cooking and she came out and claimed she wasn't a Satanist, even though she had 666 in her Twitter handle. It's just hilarious. 666, of course, being the mark of the beast, according to the Book of Revelation. So you couldn't be more Satanic than using that type of stuff. But let's take a look at this. Um, now, it's misspelled here. It's Marina Occult Gala. And we'll see if we can recognize some of these people. Now, you're going to have a better time recognizing some of these people than I do because I avoid the... Uh, you know, the entertainment, media, Hollywood stuff, like it's the bubonic plague. For the most part, I do watch some of the popular shows like Walking Dead and, you know, some of the big movies that come out. But this is Will Ferrell, of course. And we'll move down here and show you. Oh, isn't that nice? Let's take a look see how big we can make this photo here. Well, it doesn't get much bigger, but... Um, here's the... I guess this would be the the main table here. It's normal dinner, right? In Hollywood? It's normal dinner. I mean, what wouldn't be normal about having a corpse here with a skeleton on top of it? Hmm. Okay, so we know that Marina Abramovich is very in tight with so many of the Hollywood elite. Look at this. Now, oh, good lord. Good frickin' lord. I'm not sure who this guy is. He does look a little bit like the guy from, at least his face, from uh, um, Fargo or whatever, but what is that supposed to be, right? It's obviously a man dressed as a transsexual here with high heels. and Yeah, it's Hollywood, man. I told you, you're never going to think the same when you see this shit. Now, is that Julian Moore? Please, if you see this and you know who these people are, just leave it in the comments below, okay? Because I don't think there there's descriptions, so I'm not going to necessarily recognize a lot of these people. But as you see, <laughs> Hollywood movie stars dressing up in red with massive butcher knives to cut open cadavers. And this is, of course, what you see at the Rothschild type dinners the one from 1972 that was famously leaked 
few years back and I made a video about it and this is the exact kind of stuff they do. So cutting into the body. Now what they've done here, what I believe is going on here is that they, they have some people that are actors that are, you know, being performance art that are actually getting naked and lying on tables and stuff like that. Could be cadavers. You never know with these people. I mean, this looks like a very realistic cadaver, but they cut it open and it's like it's a meal and they all eat from it. And here's the people bringing out these cadavers. And you've got a bunch of people here in this white table that uh, I'm going to open this up just to see if it's bigger. And it's not, unfortunately. You see table 34 here. And you got a bunch of people that are kind of like scientists sitting around a, a table looking at a cadaver with a skeleton on top. Mm hmm. This is your performance art. So they bring these things out, and more high-profile celebrities taking part. Here, she looks very familiar. I'm not sure of her name. It says Julie School. That might be the photographer, though. So. Then they have heads. Now, what I think is going on here is that these are, are actors or performance artists who agree to be a head at a table. So they're underneath the table. I, I'm assuming they're still alive. And this is how they earn a buck. As you see, they're cutting into the cadavers. We've seen like Lady Gaga and so many others being involved in these things. Here yeah, they and they bring them out. And as you see, they've cut into these things. This is exactly what they do now. I should show you this actually. Um, just wanted to show you, actually, I, I did have this lined up here, which is, of course, the CEO of Reddit. And when he banned Pizzagate, it was revealed that he was a major contributor to the Cannibal Forum on Reddit. And he'd been posting there for a long time, five years or more, as you see over here. These are the people that run these corporations, folks. They're cannibals. So I want to just show you what I showed in my video. Uh, Roth, Rothschild Party 1972. I just put a Rothschild Party. I, I made a video about this way back when it came out. It was, it was just astonishing. And the menu itself, like you see how they have these, and they would eat these. These are like made out of pudding and stuff like that. And they would cut into them. And the, um, the menus itself were all uh, odes to cannibalism. In fact, that's my video there. I hope it's still up. It probably is on Free Radio Revolution Classics. You should definitely check that out because I specifically designed or composed that music piece for that. And it's very chilling. But yeah, I mean, of course, that's what gets into the occult. And Rothschild Party menu? Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, okay. The menus were written in... They were written so you had to look like they were like this. Right, so you like reversed, so that you know that's how they do their sort of coding, and you know it's like Al Alistair Crowley speak backwards and stuff like that. Soup uh, extra lucid, um, imbroglio de cadavre exqui, lady and sir loin, tuberculos en foie, les tu, uh, pêche en chèvre. Erlan de Tristesse, enfin, these are all about cadavers and human body parts as meal. And that's what it is. So this is 
what they're into. They're into a lot of really weird shit. And at this particular party, um, many of the top celebrities at the time, like Audrey Hepburn and Frank Sinatra and others would take part. And that's why you can never, ever, ever think of these people, these celebrities. There's Salvador Dali, Marilyn Monroe with the mind control. It's one of the freakiest things that's ever been revealed is, is the Rothschild uh, ball from 1972. I'll try to post a link for it below. And of course, that's where Eyes Wide Shut and all that, you know, you get an, you get an, an inkling into their world. So getting back to this here, um, as you see, this is how they do it. And um, it's just crazy. So you've got some more celebrities here. It looks like Mini Driver, perhaps. I'm not sure. Please just chime in at the celebrities that you see because, and this would be, I mean, it looks like it's obviously a performance artist who is there to just have a, a face. How creepy would it be to sit at a table like this and have somebody who's just there to stare blankly? And um, there's Will Ferrell. And you see how many people are at this. So they eat. The, they consume the corpses, like the corp or the mock corpses. I'm guessing they're mock corpses, are actually meals, and they cut them open and they eat them. Yep. And this is about as creepy as it gets, and it just goes to show you. I mean, you don't know. You think you your celebrities like you. They you think they love you, and you think that they're not fucking creeps or satanists you don't know jack shit if you think that way you're dumb that's all you're just not informed these people are occultist and satanist and this is why they're doing these rituals here where they're carving out people's hearts and eating them and there's marina abramovich there it's really really creepy stuff as you see they're eating they're taking part in these cannibalistic ceremonies so this is what we see at these public sort of spectacles where there's just way too many people with way too many cell phones and all this this is not what they would do most likely when they have you know when they're behind closed doors and they're actually doing one of these ceremonies for real and we just get a taste of it here I'm not sure who this guy it might be Dave Grohl but probably not I'm not sure you'll have to tell me <laughs> is that Bruno Mars not sure but they're all part of this and they all take part in these sex magic rituals and these cannibalistic ceremonies and Chris uh, this is Kristen Dunst I think and you can see they're all there. I mean, like all the big celebrities go to these things. And there they are carving up a cadaver that looks like it's a cake, this one. And imagine the amount of effort that goes into making all these meals that are in the shapes of bodies. And how could you say that's normal? Like, how could you look at this and say, well, there's nothing unusual about Will Ferrell or any of these other people I mean they're, they're they're good people are they not they just like to take part in cannibalistic type dinners Pamela Anderson is that Maria Shriver I think that's uh, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's ex-wife if I'm not mistaken, or still is his wife, I really don't know. Purple. Uh, this guy looks familiar if he's from CNN. If you recognize, again, these are probably senators and politicians along with movie stars. And um, it just goes to show you the tip of the iceberg of what these people are up to. I think that's Jessica Chastelin. She's like a big time star right now. And you can see the excitement that they have. 
and you don't really know there's a possibility that the meat within these meals is actually humans absolutely Soylent Green is people there's something to their Satanism that gives them power from consuming human flesh it's pretty bizarre right it's rare it's unsettling there's Gwen Stefani as I said you're never gonna think of your celebrities the same way ever again nor should you this is how bizarre all this shit is it's just the tip of the iceberg of course I guess wearing the lab coats is like you're taking part and perhaps when they actually eat consume human beings they wear these white long coats to protect their clothes but you see a lot of a-listers here happy happy people at at a cannibal dinner there she is a high priestess here with like kind of Egyptian style holding up the heart this is crazy stuff, man. So that's it. I mean, that's your your. This is what your Hollywood elites do. This is what they do, in in public, sort of rituals and ceremonies. Imagine what they do in their private mansions and their private islands. Just imagine. I think you see a lot of it in your movies and in your television shows because the one of the ways that they um, they can excuse themselves from being this despicable is, is to actually show it to you so that you bear responsibility and the guilt because you allow it to continue so they got to show you and that's why they program you and that's why there's so many movies about vampires that's why there's so many movies about zombies because they like to drink blood and they like to consume human flesh enjoy your next hollywood movie